Um, today we're going to be having a very special virtual learning session on shooting stars and alien rocks. My name is Beck Bates and I work in education here at the museum and today I'm going to be joined by Dermot who is our head of science and geology superstar. He's going to be helping us learn a bit about meteorites. We are also going to be joined by Oscar. Oscar's another geologist here at the museum and his job today is going to be to share some of the rocks that we'll be talking about with you. And so is there a difference between a meteorite and a shooting star or are they just the same thing? The, a, meteor, um, uh, a shooting star is what we call a meteor because it hasn't landed on the earth. And when it lands on the earth, if it lands on the earth, we call that a meteorite. Right. So that's the difference. Okay. Yeah. So one of them makes it to us, and the other one doesn't. <laughs> Burns up in the yeah. atmosphere, Burns and up. that's it. Okay, excellent. And what I'd like to do now is I'd like to invite three people, and let me see, I might just use um, Fish Creek. Uh, my name's Noah. My name's Ayla. My name's Kyan. Let's start with Noah. Noah, um, I'm going to get you to have a go at describing this rock that Oscar's going to hold up. So if you change the view over so they can see, can you have a go at describing that rock as best you can? Think of the scientific language you could use. Have a go. What can you see? Um, well, it's really smooth. So I think it might have hit the atmosphere at quite a, at quite a speed that it's like smoothed out the, um, the surface. <laughs> Um, it looks kind of, um, I don't know, it looks like it's kind of cracked in the middle, kind of like that. And then it's really smooth. I, I don't know how it would have come so smooth. And I think I can see some little chips that it might have hit the surface of the earth. And yeah, I think that's, that looks... Great yeah. description, well done. Yeah. And do you want to have a guess, do you think that rock is heavy or light? Mm, I think that rock looks like it's like, I don't know, heavy probably. Great. How does it feel to you there, Oscar? I'd say it's it's medium. Medium. Okay, he's giving you a medium on that one. Wonderful. Great description. Thanks so much. Um, all right. Thanks so much, guys. That was excellent. Excellent work. Excellent. Yeah. Cutting scientists. Yeah. What the, um, Noah Isla and Kyan does is what we do as scientists. We have a look at, we look for features and we look for clues to tell us whether it's a meteorite. So the first thing we do is you have a look at it and describe what you're seeing. And I can see that you've got a, <clears throat> quite a selection of meteorites in front of you here, Dermot. Can you tell us a little bit about different types of meteorites and the features of these um, rocks? Sure. Well, Beck, I know you said you were going to the gym this afternoon. Well, instead you can just use this. Oh. This is a, an iron meteorite. Oh. So you can just keep doing that oh. while I talk to the wow. kids. That is heavy, guys. Really heavy. So this is a this is an iron meteorite, which means it's mainly made up of the, of iron. Although when we find these, we look to see what, what else they've got in them. So we look for things like nickel. Um, <clears throat> also, you can see it's got this nice dimpled appearance, and that's um, happened as it's coming through the atmosphere. Well, I think it might actually be time for us to wrap up now. So I wanted to say a big thank you to everybody for coming and joining us today. Um, I'd also like to say a big thank you to Dermot and Oscar and Bridget. Um, in fact, I'm like, Bridget, can I get you to unmute everyone? Can we get everyone to say, when I count to three, can we say bye Dermot and bye Oscar? I'll count to three. One, two, three. Bye. 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 B